Okay, so this will be the first in a series of probably many, many tutorials uh, for my course, uh, Intro to Creative Coding here at Texas Tech. So um, for this semester, we're gonna be using the open processing website, primarily as our development environment. Uh, we looked at this in uh, class in week one. Um, and I'm sitting on my, I guess, homepage. Uh, I signed up for an account uh, previously, which was just free. Um, uh, but I also went ahead and uh, paid for a Professor Plus account, which allows me to have a class for all the students um, to share their work, and we'll look at that. So I have little tabs for activity and the sketches that I've been kind of doing for class, and little examples. I can heart sketches and follow and all this other stuff. Uh, and then here's the class itself. We can see that I've got a little plan for 20 seats, and I have 14 students. Um, two over what we originally thought, so that's great. Um, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and just get into the class itself. You can see these little uh, emojis for all my students. Um, and, uh, and, and this will be the site we're gonna primarily use for the class. Um, this will be, so the interactive drawing tool will be, be one of the first assignments and, and students will be able to, to submit their sketches for these assignments. Um, I'm also going to try to use these uh, collections, is what they're called, um, as containers <laughs> or collection areas um, where I can put uh, descriptions of not only just like here's the assignment and how to do it, but also, um, you know, here's what we're thinking about in class. Here's some example tutorials of how this works. Here's some, some interesting examples of work that other people are doing. So these will be like little modules, I hope. Um, uh, to use for the for the course itself. Um, so anyways, that's a, the basic layout, but what really what I want to talk about is how we go about using uh, the sketching. So right at the top, uh, it's always up here in open processing. Let's go ahead and create a sketch. Okay, so right off the bat, um, we have this kind of default view. You can see my sketch and we have some code over here, um, which we'll talk about in a second. And then on the right hand side, we have the sketch running, actually. If I will, yeah, there we go. So I press the little play button, and you can see that I'm drawing this uh, this little <coughs> uh, ellipse in the space. And then on the right hand side, we have um, sketch files uh, editor. So there's some options with how we set up our little environment and, and how we use it. And sometimes we want to see this. Other times, most of the time, we do not. Right. So I can hit this little three button um, thumb there to toggle that in and out. So under sketch, for the most part, we're not gonna change any of these things. The only thing is gonna be this showcase sketch. You can see it centers your sketch and uh, paints the page the background color. And the background color here is 100 gray, right? So it's uh, a value between zero and 255 as far as the, um, the gray scale. We'll I'm not going to get into the color now. And here's the canvas itself. So um, we'll come back to that in a second, but I'll just, for now, just turn that off. Um, files, we will use this in the future, but we're not using it anywhere anytime soon. This is where you might like upload an image that you might use in a sketch. And then the editor. So we can change the uh, font size. I'm making it just a little bit bigger because I'm getting old and my eyesight's not very good. And um, just so that in the screen recording, people can see, clearly see the, the text. Um, console and linting will leave this stuff on. Don't even worry about it. We'll talk about it later. The only other thing is uh, something you would maybe at different times change back and forth is this layout. So you can see this one is highlighted right now. It's the uh, um, two column view if you want to think of it that way. So here's the code side and then the sketch side. You can also um, toggle it so that you see all the code and you write your code, right? And then when you press play, it gives you the, the sketch over here and now I can do my little drawing, right? As I work along. And if I'm like, oh, I made a mistake or I want to add something to my code, right? I can toggle it back and forth. So for now, I'll maybe keep it in that column view. And I went to a sketch and I turned off the showcase sketch. And what I'm gonna do in the create canvas, just so you can see what, how that makes a, a difference. I'm just gonna make this 400 by 400. And now you can see is uh, it's not automatically sizing itself to the whole, you know, the available browser size. 
uh, the window width and the window height. It now says, hey, I'm going to make a canvas that's only 400 pixels by 400 pixels uh, width and height. And you put, still put the background color in there, right? And just for fun, um, I'm going to make this 100 just because I like to have a little bit bigger. And I'll press play. And you can see that I, I have my, uh, <coughs> my paintbrush, if you want to think of it that way. Um, you know, or I was messing around with this earlier. In fact, I'll just refresh this. Just wanted to make the point that, you know, this procedural way that we might approach these sketches, there's, you know, there's the math that we might write in the code, but there's also an algorithmic way to just think about how I might make the drawing. Right? That I might kind of draw these inverted L's as I go along to fill the space and make a certain design, right? So that's kind of interesting, right? Um, a nice little graphic. So even in the simplest of code, and this is the simplest kind of setup, so um, this was already there for us. And with processing, to really do anything with processing, you're going to want to have a setup and you're going to want to have a draw function, right? And then I'm not going to get into the details of this structure, but you're always going to have this. This is so common, um, this example in the early processing days. But it, so it's kind of become the default sketch. So when you open, this is, is ready to go. You don't have to use these things. The, uh, you know, well, you would want to use Create Canvas, but you could change the background. You don't have to use a circle. You could use other things. But this is just the, the very beginning of this, right? So now we can see this. Um, uh, basic layout. I think this is a um, it's very helpful to, to see it that way. Um, and, it's, and it's pretty easy. Uh, I guess the last thing about this would be um, save. So it's pretty easy to get started with this. Let me go back and I'll just call this uh, tutorial. Heck, let's call it, um, yeah, let's just call this intro tutorial. One. And I could give it a description of me doing a basic overview of OP and by doing a terrible job typing today. I could uh, put some information that would help someone maybe that finds this and since it's open source. Um, they might be like, oh, this is a cool sketch that someone uh, uh, wrote. How does this work? You could say, hey, you use your mouse or press these keyboards, uh, uh, these keys on the keyboard to make something happen. You can also set privacy, right? So right now I have it set to anyone could come along and see this. Maybe I only want the class to see it or my teacher. Or maybe I want to keep it private because it's a sketch that I'm just working on and, and uh, I'm not ready to, to make it available for prime time, right? And again, it's nice that it creates a little uh, happy sketch for us, um, a, a picture right of the sketch. So later on, if I'm, if I have hundreds of sketches, hundreds of sketches in my open processing, I can turn around and, and check this out and find it easily because it has a little uh, image connected with it. All right, and then I'll just hit submit, and I'll go through there, and it saves, and we're all the way back at my. Um, uh, my sketch. And if I make any changes, a new little button will pop up, you know, if I want to keep saving it in that format. Okay, I'm trying to think, uh, oh, I, so I can check the info here that I have for that. Uh, I can edit that info here. Um, just submitting, hadn't really changed anything. I can delete the sketch if it was just something I was noodling around with, right? Okay, so it's the basic uh, setup. You can um, uh, put a heart on it. So this would be the idea if maybe someone else is checking out your sketch. Um, in fact, that's weird. It says my sketch is still right there. It's funny. Let's get 500. Um, oh, sorry. So this is the um, sketch itself name. I'm trying to see if you can. Um, yeah, so we won't talk about that right now. So that's just its default. You actually can add multiple uh, tabs. Um, I'll delete that one. 
if you have a lot of code or you're writing something called a class later on. So you can see it, it leaves it my sketch um, that it's referring to, and then the name of the um, sketch is up here, Intro Tutorial 1, right, that I've, that I've created. Um, there's some other saving and commenting options up here, but we won't talk about that for now. Okay, so let's recap. Uh, you have a sketch. It's The default is set up and dr uh, draw, which processing is always going to have. Um, we have a little tab over here where we can change some of the info for sketch. Most of it we'll leave alone. Files we won't do anything with for now. An editor, let's change the text size or let's change the layout if we want to use it that way, right? Everything else, I think you would just leave where at and we have a save button. Okay, I'm looking at my time, just over 10 minutes, perfect. So this will be number one of the tutorials. There will be many, many more. I will see you again soon.